Kanye West. <laughs> yeah. Graduation. Took me back, man. The graduation yeah. review, man. Notes. <laughs> Yo, graduation is the third album from Kanye Omari West. You know, this uh looked like it was like a a journey. It was part of a trilogy. Well, it was supposed to be like four parts. Yeah. But his mom passed and he dead it the fourth part. Uh yeah. good ass good job. Good ass job. Yeah. That would have been dope. Man, it it would have been. I, 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 I can tell. If yeah. you ask me, this is when Kanye started getting, like, he had just, like, you know, the roller coaster when you get to the top right before you fucking go down the drop. This was that point for <laughs> Kanye West. This is uh, considered his dash into pop music. He sampled more of a wide range of samples as opposed to just soulful samples. Yep. And this is the album that pretty much launched Kanye from a, a rap superstar into a pop superstar. How do we feel about graduation from Kanye West? I'll go first. Um, I thought this was classic. I gave it a 96. Um, the only thing I dislike, or not even dislike, the less thing, the, the the track I least like on this album is stronger, and um, and it's a, and it's still a good song. It's just probably the weakest track on here but he'd probably so. be upset if he heard you say that because you know he mixed the song 75 times yeah man yeah. he's had a lot of work on that damn song yeah i mean he went in it's still a good song but it's, it's okay we can keep it real yeah it's okay yeah it's not better than um it's not better it's not better than i wonder it's not better than can't tell me nothing it's I still not think better it's than a fucking great song i'm just gonna put it, that out it's not there. better than everything i am it's not better than Homecoming. You know but for him to like mix a song with Daft Punk on that type of level and make it still sound like his, I thought that's why it was great. Yeah, I mean, uh, on yeah. a production level, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a genius on a production yeah. level. But um, this album was also, I think, the one that it was Yeezy versus Curtis. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I think this kind of gave, uh, by, 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 by Ye winning this kind of battle, because... Uh, 50's album didn't keep up with him. I think. Yeah, I think his numbers were more than 50. I don't and know. And not the only that, uh, Ye's music was. I think Ye made better music. Like 50 didn't show no progression. Yeah. Um, it kind of gave light to the backpackers. It kind of opened. It came more light to the backpackers around that time. Um, Good morning was a great way to start the album. Champion was fire. The production flow on it. I won those fire, the vibe, mood, it sounds amazing. Good Life featuring T-Pain was another dope produced track. Uh, Can't Tell Me Nothing was fire. Barry Bonds, uh, shout out to him and Wayne, they killed that. Um, Man, I miss this Kanye. Yeah. Hey, that's what I got after listening to all of this. I, I really miss this guy. Yeah. Well, this, this level of music. I go, I go next, man. All right. Hey, uh, Kanye West, man. Graduation. Album review. <sighs> Barry Bonds is dope. Lil Wayne. Can't Tell Me Nothing. It's one of my favorite songs from Kanye West. I love Big Brother. I like Flashing Lights. I like uh, Drunken Hot Girls. A lot yeah. of people don't even like that I like song, that song, But too. I like it. I wonder. Great fucking idea. Completely wrong execution. I couldn't stand and, I, and to this day, it still bothers me. I hate that flow. Ah, Ben, wait, team. Oh, it, yeah, that was my only. I don't not. fuck with it until he gets to. Until do you, you even know what the exactly. issue is? Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, you could have did that the whole song, oh, and it would have yeah. been dope. Yeah. Yep. So according to that, I mean, the beat is amazing. Right. The production, Joe, John, Brian, Mike, Dean, him, and he got Timberland to come in and do some drums here and there. He brought the whole fucking hip hop industry in to help him with this album. <laughs> the production was crazy. Uh, Lil Wayne has the only feature on Barry Bonds. It's fucking ridiculous. Can't tell me nothing. Uh, DJ Tump did his thing on that and Big Brother, if y'all don't know. Uh, but DJ Tump said that it was a song he did for Jeezy. Jeezy didn't want to keep it. He played it for Kanye. Kanye said, keep the fucking ad-libs in there. I want to rap over it. Jeezy said, fine. Dope fucking song. But honestly, man, I, I after looking at it, I just don't feel like it's a classic, man. If you disagree, tell <laughs> us in the comments. I gave it a 92, an A minus. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> and then after this, it's pretty much an up and down roller coaster for Kanye. After this, the only high point was uh, the Cool Summer, and that was because everybody else was on it. 
and then dark. my dark twisted fantasy yeah. cause Jesus fucking sucks <laughs> if you disagree let us know in the comments um heartbreak came before this after after cause his mom passed yeah, heartbreak, and then was after yeah, this. heartbreak was pretty good is, and- is it better than this well, it's on a different, it's on a different path. So this is actually not still rap music. Yeah. This is still rap music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's still not better than this. And dogs, <laughs> dogs Do- Do- Twisted Fantasy is is might be better than this. Arguably, right? You can well, argue that. I'm with Dame, man. I'm, I'm, I gave it a 93. I thought it was amazing, man. I mean, my favorite albums out of Kanye West would have to be Late Registration. Um, I mean, I know College Dropout is a classic to me, but Late Registration, I love that album. So arguably, so, he got four. So coming coming from Late Registration to this, I was like, okay, this is cool, but it wasn't really like what I wanted, but I still enjoyed it a lot. Um, Stronger, man, I, I love that song. I mean, I get what y'all saying. It's not amazing, nothing different, nothing like that. Oh, I, I play it. Yeah. I didn't skip it. But I just, I just like, especially, I love the music video. I love all the different themes it had and like, I hated all the inspirations. Glasses. Huh? I hated those glasses. <laughs> yeah, those glasses. Oh, with the, <laughs> the, with, the shades. Yeah. <laughs> I forget all about them. But yeah, man, um, you know, going back, listening to this, it, it was refreshing, man. You know, just to hear Kanye rapping on a level like this and the production like this um i forgot how much i love flashing lights man i ain't heard that in a minute right um you, you need dwelle for that song for yeah. it to be dope though and you take um, dwelle off this song it's not the same song it's man. not it's not but yeah um every I, I actually don't like drunken hot girls i mean i, I like the, it was i so, like i like it because it's so different i like the later half of the song rather than the beginning for some reason i don't know what it is it's just something that annoys me about it but i still like it but i just don't love it you like most death's little part in there yeah i do i like his part a lot but um i wanted to talk to y'all about big brother man how do y'all feel listening to big brother again after all this stuff and happened with jay and kanye i feel like it still applies yeah yeah really yeah. I, it was just kind of you know weird listening to it after all this stuff that didn't happen. Hey, at least he got him on Run the Town. Yeah, he got Jay on Run the Town. He ain't get him on the Diamonds. Yeah, but he got him on uh, Run the Town right. on, on the Blackout on Blueprint Three. Right. Yeah, I, I thought it was kind of cool, kind of listening to that and just trying to you know see where his head is now than where it was there. But yeah, but yeah, it's an amazing album. You know, it, it could just be frustrating when you just can't get out that that shadow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like even 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 later on, years later, yes, it still looked that that way. Like you're still a little brother. No, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I do I do miss this Kanye a lot. Like when you hear like you know on everything I am Kanye pass Kanye uh, common pass on this beat I made it to a jam. Yeah. That was like super braggadocious. Not about my dick every ten bars Kanye was. <laughs> right. Right. You right. know. Let's keep it real, man. Yeah. Yo, what's up, man? It's your man, Ambitious Ace of the Report Card. Every Sunday, we're going to have new reviews for you, as well as random drops throughout the weeks of your favorite TV shows and your favorite films. So stay tuned and, you know, comment, like, subscribe, share, and don't be afraid to talk to us, man. Get at us. Peace.